Day 31, December 2nd. This afternoon's hunt is gonna be a doe hunting mission. I don't have another uh, buck tag yet. I don't get another one until the 23rd of December when we get into Iowa's late season. But I do have several doe tags left for this county that I hunt in and where I live in. So we're gonna to try to fill one of those tonight. And it's always kind of a, a good scouting time too. I call them the intermediate hunts, you know, between my last buck tag and my next one, I get a chance to do a little bit of scouting, see what comes out, get a feel for some of the spots on the farm that I maybe haven't hunted for a while. Uh, the one I'm going to tonight is the spot where I killed that buck back in, in uh, October, 23rd, I think of October it was. Uh, it hasn't been hunted much since, maybe once or twice since. Uh, so we don't have a real good feel for what's used in this. It'd be kind of fun tonight just to get out and watch the area, see what comes out, maybe kill a doe, get back in the blind and get back rolling. Uh, this whole week I should be able to hunt most every evening. That's my plan at least. And then our uh, shotgun season in Iowa comes in this coming Saturday on the 7th. If you look at this, uh, where I park here is pretty close to the road, but it's, it's an easy spot to get to. There's a lane I can walk down and I go right back to a row of cedars. And I can walk in behind that row of cedars all the way to the blind. And even if there's deer out in that small food plot that's in front of the blind, they usually can't see us when we go on the back side of those cedars and then sneak carefully into the blind, which is pretty cool. It allows us to get in and out uh, fairly bulletproof. So now to the maps. Uh, these are Huntera maps. And I've been using these for quite a few years now. And it's an awesome way for me to plan every single day how I'm gonna get to and from the spots I'm gonna hunt. So they're, I'd say, an invaluable part of my strategy, having a printed map. And right now, Huntera has a holiday special. If you go to the, their website, huntera.com, and uh, pick out a printed map, and then when you check out, use the promo code HOLIDAY between now and the 9th of December, and you can get 25% off any of these printed maps. So check those out. Like I said, uh, I'm a big fan. So now it's time to head back there and uh, hopefully uh, you know, see a doe or, or have some action this evening. Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cuddyback. Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, and Realtree. been a good sit so far. I was trying to count up the number of deer that I've seen and uh, I think I'm at 12. There's still, there's seven, seven does and a year and a half old buck out in the, the big and beastie plot right now. And uh, one of the does is, we called her the lazy tongue doe back in 2017. So now we're naming our does of all things. But this doe has got a tongue that hangs out. It's the darndest thing and I thought for sure, we didn't see her last year at all, I thought for sure that she was dead. But she's out there right now, about 85 yards away. And that would be a pretty high trophy on a doe only hunt. Probably about as good as you could do. That buck is kind of kicking around out there. Maybe he'll run her over to this end, but uh, so far she's been keeping her distance. I don't see her right now. Maybe he ran her into the woods. But uh, that's been the highlight 
seeing a doe with a lazy tongue, of all things. Beautiful night, 30s, low 30s, almost no wind. Beautiful sunset and probably about oh, at least 45 minutes, maybe more, 50 minutes left until the end of legal shooting time. I really would like to see a, a an old mature buck pop out here just for fun, even though I can't shoot it. It would just be a neat thing to, to see a nice buck tonight before we're done. Dang it, I really wanted to shoot that lazy tongue doe. She was the last one to leave the field. I don't think there's anything else out there right now. That little buck ran back and forth. It, it, kind of comical because he fed for probably a half an hour. Then all of a sudden he got the idea that I better chase these does. So he ran them all off the field except that one with the lazy tongue. And uh, she just wouldn't come closer than 74 yards and then she went back in the woods. So now we're down to about the last 20 minutes. And there is still a doe clear to the north. And I guess there's some possibility that that doe could come down this way. But out in front of the blind, there's nothing. But we'll probably sit a little bit longer and see if something else pops out and then we'll, we'll bust out of here. But uh, I know it's not too exciting on these doe hunts, but once in a while, something interesting happens, like this lazy tongue doe. You know, wow, we got something now <laughs> to chase. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just keep uh, keep checking back, and we'll get out these next few evenings before the gun season comes in.